and today we're going to make colorful dyed eggs for Easter. This is a great recipe for you to make with your kids. It is the most simple of dyed egg recipes. Let me tell you how this goes. You first you need your big batch of hard boiled eggs and you'll find those on my channel. Then you're going to need some dye. I got this at the grocery store and this one's neon today. I've never seen that before. And vinegar and then some little containers to put your eggs in when they're getting dyed. And then I keep this around. This little egg container is where those eggs go when they're drying. And you need some spoons. Let's get started. You need hot water, so you can use kettle hot water, but I'm cheating with a microwave. So I'm a little experimenter today, and I'm gonna do all kinds of colors. Okay, I've lined them up Dano. So what we do is we get our food coloring, and we put about 20 drops per each cup of water. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. Okay, what that means is a couple quick squirts. One, two, there we go. Here's pink. And just for fun, I'm going to just mix some colors. I got some green and pink. In it goes. And now bright green and purple. So we have more colors to play with today. To each of our dye baths, we're going to add one of uh, vinegar, and that's so the color sticks on that egg and doesn't come off. It sets the color. Here we go. And mix it up. I always change out my spoons because I don't want to have a brown, which is what this is. Now take your eggs and dip them, but I put them in with a spoon because I don't want to crack them on the way down. Lower them in. This is so fun. This is a perfect family art project to do during the holidays. It is as fun for mom and dad as it is for those kids because it takes you right back to when you were children. If you're under the age of 18, if you have brothers or sisters, bring them into the room when you do these. They will love it. So look, it's been like 30 seconds and that's already a beautiful bright pink. Let's keep going down the line. Nope. Oh yeah. Oh, that's so pretty, pink. Uh-huh, all right, it's a little different shade. Since this one isn't dying at the same pace and I want it really intense, I'm gonna get a little more squirt. A few more drops will help. And when you're happy with that egg color, take it out. Drain it by holding it on the side of your little cup and then put the small side in. And that took five minutes. Win! All right, not so bad. Let's do some more. For 50-50, you do one end at a time. Now, I'm gonna use my most intense colors because it's gonna go faster that way. Bing! Okay, other side. Your hands get a little dyed from this project. Make sure you've got your paper and paper towels so you don't mess up your house. Now, if you put this on a tablecloth, that tablecloth is gonna get shot. Dying Easter eggs is just the most springtime activity because that's when all those chickens are laying those eggs. That's why this became popular. Do you know chickens lay eggs at the fastest rate during March, April, May, and June? They will lay maybe seven or eight or nine eggs a week, whereas in the colder months of the year, they're down to like two or three eggs. I know, I raise chickens. Boop. Now this one goes in the box. And let's just say you want to give one away to your friend. So you take a crayon and you draw your little picture. Who should I give this one to? All right, now that's been in about a good five minutes. It got a little stronger from the neighbor. Tygo kitty cat, a little spring flower. So I got one for the cat and my son Landon. There we go. I hope he eats his egg. Mel, I got you an egg. 